this is Nige and he's got a Transit 100 T280. How long did it take you to do your build then Nige? Oh from start to finish six about six months. Yeah. Before I before I started my van I, I planned it all out and got like a blueprint what I wanted. Yeah. And then I watched a lot of programs with um, builds and I watched a lot of other vans and I got an idea what to do. Yeah, yeah. So then I followed to and ordered the, the things that what got recommended really. Yeah, yeah. I put and them in my van. What, uh, what electric have you got in here? I know you've got your solar and everything like that. How, how, much, how much solar power have you got? S solar power, I've got four, I've got four panels at 120 per panel. Yeah. So that's 480. Right, and... 480 watts. And what batteries have you got? I've got two lithium, 120 amp hour. Right, so 240 amp hour batteries. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. This is where I keep my electrics. I un unlatch it there. Uh-huh. I take the... Off there. And here, when I pull it out, it does. Oh. If you, oh. Want, if you want to come this side, that's my fridge. All right. Should it, it did do to do that. Ah. <laughs> did you see that, guys? Just shut that bloody door again. All right. So I'll go there. And if in the summer, I just pull this out here. I'm going, and then it's my fridge. There's the fridge. It, it, it is on, it is on, actually, it is on sliders. Yeah. But it come out one day and busted my slider, so I've got All right. to put it back in. Yeah. But, and then you, are you ready? And then you open it for all your electric. Wow. <laughs> That looks like spaghetti junction. Bloody yeah. hell. So you've got a 1500 watt inverter. Inverter. Uh, that's a pure sine wave. Yeah. And that bad boy is my MPPT. And you've got a split S relay down split there. Split relay. And wow. Everything's on fuse. Everything's fused. Everything's fused up. Every switch, socket, TV, anything, all the electrics, everything's got a fuse to it. The way that you've hidden that, 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 <laughs> that, is, that is a little bit of ingenuity, that is. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. That took me by surprise that and your batteries are down and here. They're my lithium batteries, yeah. That is a little bit of ingenuity. Yeah, well, I wanted to get to my electrics. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want it so as I was climbing under things or over things or. And I wanted it all nice and neat so if anything did happen to go awry, I could look in and I know all my wires and what's what and I can go straight to it, take the fuse out, fix it, put it back. And off I go again. And then I shut it back up. Get my latch. Job up. My cupboards. Way. <laughs> Cake. <laughs> That's where you usually stop my larder. There you go. And in the summer, I will be using my fridge. Yeah. Switch it on and use my fridge. Yeah. Very clever. Very clever. And it's all unbuilt. There's no. I did it all, well, as you can see, look with the shapes. Yeah. And the, everything clips in, so no, when you're no, road. Yeah, so no, none of your doors fly open. No, I made sure like every cupboard's same, even these. You know, you just pull them down. Yeah. And also, I put foil under the underneath, so as where I put my lights on. Yeah, so it, ref shine. It, it reflects back down. Yeah. Your little seat there. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. step back and, and show everybody that? Yeah. The bugger's got a reclining seat in his van. You just put it up like that <laughs> and watch me telly. <laughs> and uh, and your telly's up there. And it's not the only thing that reclines either, is it? Oh no, no, <laughs> it didn't know. And this bed. Yes. You're going to tell us about this. Yes, I um. Get your, get yourself on it. Jump on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I usually have shoes off, but when I'm in when I'm in bed at night or I'm hoping it's summertime when my van door's open I can lay here, watch my telly and look out the door. So I've raised my electric bed so as instead of just being laid down all the time I'm just putting in there, Trump. <laughs> oh, I thought I wanted to put my feet up. Oh, is this one there? Does it come up any higher than that at the back? Yes, it does, yeah. How's well, that for creature comforts, eh? Do you not find that that cupboard up there gets in the way of your head? I'd feel a little bit claustrophobic with my head what, what did that I close to the bottom of a cupboard. Do you mean when I'm sleeping? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> a funny, you, you, you do get used to it, but no, I don't. I did it first because I've never slept kind of like in this position with a cupboard there. Yeah. So what I did when I first do it, I put some... Is it flat down now? Yeah. Yep. What I've done, if you look underneath here, there's a thick cushion. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if I do bang my head, it doesn't matter, it's just cushion. Yeah, yeah. But I have got used to it so much, and I don't bang my head now. All oh, right. But I have chopped the piece out there on the door. Yeah, just to... Uh... Just to give me that extra bit of room there. But mm -hmm. if, you put, if you put the back up, you kind of you, you kind of miss miss it. Yeah, yeah. But when you do go to sleep and you put it full down, I'm so used to it now. I, I automatically know what I'm doing. It's yeah. And you're only short as well, aren't you? So. Yes, I'm very short. Yeah, yes. yeah. So. You, I you, measured when they were, before I did the build. I come in the van and laid out and measured it all before I even built it. Yeah. Yes, and um, I've got my weather station, so I know what temperatures outside and inside. And MPPT box. Yeah. But my favourite's my telly. My telly's absolutely, and everything's, my telly's all controlled by there. So I've done it so really, I'm idle and I don't have to get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do everything from my bed. Um, it's a thingy telly. It's a, in, it's, it's a 12 volt TV. We're checking out the internet on it and everything, so I've got everything I need, really. Yeah. I can watch YouTube, I can watch everything on it, I can even watch terrestrial television on it. I've also got a... Um, uh, and what's your favourite, what, what, what's your favourites on YouTube? YouTube, YouTube Boondockers. <laughs> we didn't pay him to say that. And this, this is me, I want this... It's got a thousand films on it at the moment. Yeah. It's a three terabyte. It's a three terabyte. Hard drive. Hard drive, yeah. And all I do, if if I'm in a place where I can't get a signal, I just plug that back in back in my TV, and I've got a thousand films to watch. So, and I always keep that in the net here at the back. So it's so easy to get to. And when I'm on my travels, I pull the elastic band and just clip my telly to it so it doesn't... Stop it swinging around. So it doesn't swing, yeah. Everything's anchored down, so it's... You've got a full-size sink in there as well. Yes, I've got a fresh water, drinking water tap there, and that goes into a filter and filters the water. 
when me waste water gets full mm -hmm. and um, parked up somewhere, I find uh, near the road drains. Yeah. I find the road drain and I park over it and I press this button here. Yeah. And it empties me. The water, my wastewater right. in the drain. Right, so it pumps it straight it out. It pumps it straight out, out yeah. And this one's here for my pump, for my drinking water, and my tap water. And uh, P funnel. P funnel, yeah, very important. Every <laughs> van must have one. Every van must have one. And your bulkhead's closed off. That's my clothes, that's my wardrobe. This is a wardrobe up here. Yep. Yeah. It's on in, you just pull the in, there. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. And uh, the bulkhead's closed off with a doorway through to the front. And your little pot of potty there, I presume you just pull that through, yeah? Yep, just pull it through at night and put it where the door is. And when you got it, you originally had a um, a double seat in there, didn't you? Yes, I did. I um, took the seat out and um, basically ground. I grinded it so it was just a single seat. I uh, cut it in half basically, and then reupholstered it and put it back in. And you can you can still see the evidence of that down there. <laughs> <clears throat> And your diesel heater as well? Yes, oh it's a large heater, it's a diesel heater. And that's just under your front seat? It is, yeah. I've got a second water container. Uh-huh. Which I usually I usually keep full, but some is pinched on my water so I don't <laughs> so it's quite empty at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Saved us having to make a trip. <laughs> I've got my spare battery. Let's put another spare battery up there. In case anything happens, yeah. there's an emergency and a battery charger. Yeah. And if there's any work needs doing on the van or anything needs doing, I just. And this pulls out. And I've got all, all my tassel on there. And then my drawers at top. Look at that, eh? And this is my motor for my bed. I can't get over that. The bloody reclining bed in your van. <laughs> yes, you've got to have comforts when you're on road. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I think you've pretty much thought of it all, haven't you? Yeah, and, and I've you've got, got... You've got your... Yeah. ...sockets there for... 240. And that's your 12 volt, and that's yeah. your 240, so if I do need to plug anything in, I can just plug it in there and work out here and do anything. Yeah. I've got my maxi, my maxi fan, what's the remote control, so I can put my bed up, put my fan on, and not get out of bed. I can do it all from in my bed. And you've got another skylight as well up there. Yes, the skylight there. Oh, it's lovely at night. You can open there up, look outside, and it's amazing. And a draining rack. <laughs> yes, a draining rack. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> that there's a looking glass or binoculars. binoculars yeah. 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 Awesome, mate. I'll tell you what, it's a little home from home, this is. Yes. And uh, are you intending to foot, living it full time or? Well, yes, I'm, I'm trying to build up that way. So as um, I'm trying to get my finances in order so as I can just go out up road and enjoy life basically because living in the rat race you don't get out you go to work you come home and i've done it for so long 12 hours shifts six six days a week you don't see anybody you don't see life and i've seen more life since i've had this van in the in the last 12 i ain't had an holiday for 12 years yeah uh, through going to work and doing 12 hours I've been, I've been all, since I've had van, I've been all over. <laughs> I just love life now. <laughs> so, that's why we do it, isn't it? It is, yes. It's, it's such a way of life. It's unbelievably. And if you do your van properly, no matter what weather you're in,
It's so cosy and warm. Yeah. Everything's out there for you to build your van and live in it. It's so good. You can even get signal. <laughs> I think somebody wants you. Yes. Right. I'm going to cut it at that, matey. Okay. Um, thank you very much for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. Very good. Very, very good. Right. Well, thank you, Nigel. Oh, you're welcome. I've, I've enjoyed the last couple of days with you. It's, it's, it's been really, really good. You, since, since I built my van, you're the first van proper van dweller that I've met I haven't seen that I've always been on my own going yeah. out places and yeah but once I knew that you were here and I knew this place I thought I've seen you that much I thought I've got to go and see boondockers <laughs> I've got to. so when I pulled up I come to you as though I already knew you but you, you didn't know me man do we no but we, we have we've had uh, a good time we've had some interesting conversation and uh, yeah, it's been awesome meeting you, mate. It so, is, it is. So, yes, thank you very much for popping down. Um, oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the kebab, because we've not had a bloody kebab for God knows how long. He just, yeah, he's got, he, yeah, so he got us a kebab the other night. Oh, oh, lovely. So, yeah, it's been a pleasure meeting you, good sir. And, well, uh, you're welcome. We'll catch you again soon on the road. Right. You take and care, matey. Looking forward to seeing both on your on the road and hopefully i'll be on the road full time myself by then nice one so we'll see you soon guys and don't forget the booms my first boom docker sticker i love it <laughs> yes <laughs> my favorite my favorite youtubers and my first sticker worry oh it's I'm unbelievable about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know